Now, as a prompt measure to mitigate the effects of the invincible enemy, COVID-19, the development of vaccine is seemingly crucial. To this end, the World Health Organization on Thursday held a press briefing on the development of COVID-19 vaccines in Africa. Plus TV Africa's correspondent, Itseme, attended the briefing virtually to monitor it and brings this to us. The urgent need for the COVID-19 vaccines cannot be overemphasized. The pandemic has reached an all-time high as Africa now records about 500,000 cases of the virus. The World Health Organization highlights basic challenges confronting the management of the disease. Initially, there were a couple of challenges, and these challenges are spread. <clears throat> they are political, uh, they are social challenges, they are legal challenges, they are ethical barriers, regulatory barriers, uh, media uh, issues in the communities. So there were a number of issues that we, we, we did face. But what I learned is that as long as you communicate well, you inform the public, you inform the communities, you address the issues, work together, uh, you, uh, you are likely to overcome some of these uh, challenges. The Regional Director of World Health Organization, Dr. Matt Shidiso Moretti, explains the role of Africa in the role of the development of vaccines globally. We have several countries that are actually, that have institutions that are producing vaccines. Some are uh, public, uh, parastatal, and others are in the private sector in partnership with governments. For example, in Senegal, the Institute Pasteur has uh, vaccine production capacity, have been producing yellow fever vaccine for many years and is an important partner in WHO and then for to WHO. And there are several other um, North African countries that have vaccine uh, production capacity in Tunisia, Morocco, Algeria. I was on an, an official visit to Algeria a year or so ago and I visited one such institute. South Africa, of course, has such capacity. Egypt has uh, some capacity to, produce, to manufacture vaccines. A longer term measure aside the development of vaccines is to also ensure a slower rate of transmission of the disease focus can't be around vaccines. In the meantime, the focus need remains trying to slow the rate of transmission of this virus by adherence to those non-pharmaceutical interventions, the wearing of face masks, the physical distancing, the avoiding of overcrowded spaces. That is the current and immediate term uh, focus. It's not about vaccines. The vaccine development needs to take place, but we need to manage what is upon us right now. Reporting for PLOS TV Africa, Isemel Omohai. Thank you, Samir, for that report. And to talk more on the development of COVID-19 vaccine in Africa is Professor Oyewale Tomori, a virologist. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. All right. Uh, we're in the fourth month since the first case. And so far, the WHO says nearly 150 prospective vaccines have been developed with 19 already in trials. Might we just get a vaccine sooner than it's being predicted? No, I don't think so. Um, I think it's still going to take at least uh, a year to 18 months before we get the vaccine. The process is on, uh, but knowing vaccines, almost about only about 6% of what are being produced now may eventually turn out to be good vaccines. So I think we still have another 12 to 18 months to go. Uh, we read that Madagascar has stepped up a lockdown. Uh, does this mean that their herbal cure was false alarm or has lost credibility at some point? I think the problem with the Madagascar thing it was never proven in the first place. I mean, it was just one of those things that we hear. Uh, people have found the cure without actually putting it to test. Uh, so that's what we are having. Uh, Madagascar had is now going to about 4,000 cases, you know, after, since after the time they got their so-called kill. So I think they had about 100 and something cases there. Now it's 4,000. So it, it means that thing is not working. It, has never, it was never tested. It was never proven. So, you know, it didn't follow the due process. So I wasn't too surprised that what is happening there is happening there now. 
Uh, well, we also, um, I'll, I'll come back to uh, the distribution. I was going to ask you that, but what you just said uh, brought me to NAFDAQ saying that they have 21 uh, herbal uh, products uh, that are currently uh, being processed by the agency for safe use. Uh, it's DG said that the manufacturers um, say that the product is um, only immune boosters. But uh, where my concern is, is that the NAFTA has not carried out any clinical uh, studies of these um, herbal um, remedies, so to speak, or immune boosters. What should we be concerned when it comes to this? Should NAFTA be doing, NAFTA be doing more? Yeah, thank you very much. The fact that the products are listed does not mean they have approval. Just like the 160 vaccines that WHO listed, it puts a, 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 a caveat there that this is unlisted, but it's not an endorsement by WHO. So what NAPDAC is doing is the same thing that WHO is doing. You bring in your product, the NAPDAC lists it, and then says it's listed, but it's not an endorsement until it is tested. Yes, NAPDAC should get involved. NAPDAC should organize the, the testing and putting these things into Due process. Do you think and, they have uh, the capacity, so is, really? Uh, we cannot take it for as, as, as endorsed. Do you think they have the capacity, sir, to go through the clinical trials for all of these herbal products? Oh, sure, we have. Uh, it, it is not the, the people, it is the environment, it is the facility that we need. There are a lot of talented African scientists, Nigerian scientists. But you need to give them the, the, the right environment to be able to do the clinical trials. How many clinical trial sites do we have in the country? I'm not too sure they are up to two or so. These are the issues that I think we need to do. We have the good carpenters, but we are not giving them the tools to perform. And that's what is happening to us here. The environment is not encouraging people to do the, the, the tests that we expect them to do. All right, there are already concerns over the equitable distribution of the vaccine when we do find one. WHO's regional director for Africa already said African countries always end up at the back of the queue for new technologies, which include uh, vaccines, when we do get one or as has happened in the past. Of what impact is the WHO's call on countries and the region to take concrete actions to ensure equitable access to vaccines? Uh -huh. I think WHO is making the right call at this time. But first of all, to have equitable uh, participation in the vaccines, you must participate in the vaccine production or the, at one stage of the vaccine production itself. I think only South Africa and Egypt are involved in clinical trials of this. Why is Nigeria not involved? Why are other countries not involved? If you get participate in the clinical trials, of course, you, you have a good chance of getting the vaccine. But if we stay down and wait until everything is done before we take it, We'll go back to the back lane when, when nobody, when everybody has satisfied himself before they, they think of Africa. Your quick thoughts on the Nigerian professor, Cyril uh, Otokai, who has challenged the Nigerian government and other scientists working in COVID-19 to prove the existence of the virus in the country. If one is to believe the report one hears, that same professor uh, said in one of the newspapers that he has found a cure for it. So if you didn't believe it existed, how can you find a cure for what does not exist? I mean, we have to be very careful. It's not every professor that is a professor. Uh, we, I'm really sorry that, you know, he bears the title professor. I think it's a danger to the, to the life of these of this people. How can you say there's no, that the COVID does not exist? My prayer is that it doesn't get, it so that it doesn't become the number of the, of the, of the cases we are getting in Nigeria. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much, Professor, for your time with us on the news. It was my pleasure. Thank you.